quite heartwarming, to be honest, the way the way it's played out. I mean, over the years in South Wales, you know, the, the undercroft space has got smaller and smaller, and there's been certain changes that have been made. They recently, a couple of years ago, put the fence up, which at the time very much felt like we were being turned into like these kind of caged animals, almost like a zoo. But we've kind of just adapted to that, and so from all the people always kind of looking in, it's been very kind of voyeuristic on their part. What's been great about this campaign is that we've been able to to kind of almost break down those barriers, be like, look, look come in, and, and then we've been going and talking to them because they've been supporting us. So that kind of exchange between what we call the general public and ourselves has been a sort of the most fulfilling. And if anything, it's, it's great that we can almost educate those people a bit about what we're about because they kind of maybe only see us on a sort of two-dimensional front. And it's great for them to kind of come, in, come, come inside and get kind of absorbed in our culture and show that actually they do appreciate it and they appreciate that, that what we do and, and I don't, it's, I've been overwhelmed from the support from people um, who you honestly wouldn't have thought they, they'd have cared about about uh, just a bunch of skateboarders, as Duke Kelly would want to put it. And it's it's much bigger than that, basically. It's, it, South Bank stands for much more than just you know skating and BMX and graffiti. It stands for human beings doing something with other human beings that wasn't planned, wasn't scripted. There was no schedules. There was no policing. There was no financing. There was no money. It's just people. They came together to create this wonderful community space in the middle of a city which is becoming more and more commercial by the day and but has a massive effect on the general public walking through and maybe inspires them and opens their minds a little bit it just shows the way that we work as a community we almost want to share that with the people across london and be like and i'm not saying that we do it right but we think we do it you know quite well in that we're very diverse there's no barriers there's no boundaries everyone's on a level when you come into the undergrowth and so i think maybe people could take elements to that and uh, put it into their lives and i think that's been really great but Overall, it's just been it's been really heartwarming, basically, to the support from the public and, and from other institutions and politicians and academics, and it just shows what an effect the undercroft has had on London over the last 40 years. Oh,